New project alert. We're gonna be turning this basement into a hair salon. We got some cats meowing around this joint. But um, as you can see, this room right here, we're gonna transform this. This is the salon we're doing. Got some open space in here for sure, but it's definitely dull in here. So we're gonna have to put more lights in here so it can be more brighter. Let's get to it. First thing we're gonna tackle is the electric. Shout out to my brother-in-law, Real, for helping and taking the initiative to try to learn a new skill. So you said switch it, right? Switch it to that uh, hammer. This one? Yeah. So we're going to be drilling that pilot hole first into the wall, and then we're going to be putting in the screw. That's so easy. You're going to drill through the screw. Like so then you said, yeah. screw, right? Yep. Switch the bit. We're using a hammer drill right now. Yeah, I'm up. All right. <laughs> nope, just this right here will turn. You ain't got to touch the bit. Just this right here. Oh, just turn yeah. that Oh, okay. So I'm giving Rail a few tips on how to take off the bit and switch them out. It's always good to try to learn new skills. If you paying somebody to come to your house to fix something, why not just tackle alone if you're not doing nothing to try to learn how to do a new skill. It's gonna be using Tapcon screws. If you get a nice value packet to come already with the drill bit. So everything that we are gonna be using in this video is gonna be down in the description below if you wanna tackle a project like this by yourself. You can follow them because I'm going the other way. Chasing after paper, trying to redirect the way. That's it, and put your one at the bottom. So this is because you drilled the longer hole, the screws must be a little thicker. Yeah. So why do you put the boxes up. on first to help secure? Yeah, the end of the show is where it's going, so you ain't got to like overcut it or make it too short or too long. It's only 25 feet. So it's like four boxes over there. Okay. But with these, you can pick four, four like four plugs. plugs. Yeah, each box. I'm going to be running it from this box here down to this one, then over to that one. We got the flex cable right here, so we got to make sure we had the right connectors. Um, these here is knockout seals, so right here, this hole got popped out, but no big deal. We just gonna put that on there and seal it up because no wire is going through there. We have some flex connectors. Um, these connectors right here pretty much just help us connect this wire inside this box nice and secure. We're using tap cons for the screws. Um, these screws here actually is for like concrete. Um, it comes with a bit right here. So you gotta pre-drill your hole inside the wall like so with a hammer drill and then these screws right here will be able to get screwed inside the block wall that's a good way to screw screws inside a brick or block wall some of them come with a bit sometimes you might have to buy the bit separately if you don't buy enough of them cable strippers right here cable cutters right here so i'm actually using these to cut the shield the cable really can use like some other type but these work pretty good these really supposed to be used for a thicker gauge cable but they work well for that. I'm just gonna have to make sure I sharpen my little teeth up there. So those are gonna get dull. We're just gonna use some Leviton outlets right here, 15 amp. And then to secure this cable up, we use these flex connectors. All this stuff gonna be down in the description to make it easier. And then we got some metal boxes right here. So we got a four inch metal box right here and we went ahead and got this adapter right here to screw the plugs to. Cause if not, then we just have these two screws right here just for a blank cover to cover this up but if you want to use this box for actual outlets then grab this cover right here we're gonna put that on screw that down bam and then we'll be able to put our plugs on there see we got that wire ran all the way up going inside our box right here and we do got some new breakers who slim breakers because you see we only got one spot right here so two slim breakers they about the size of this line right here so they both will fit right there. I like using these here. Pretty much it's just a screwdriver. When you work inside an electric panel like this, you wanna make sure you got some screwdrivers that actually is rated for working inside like a hot box right there. So you don't wanna have like no regular flathead or something like this because it can touch a wire and you can potentially get electrocuted. We don't need nobody to get electrocuted. So that's what we rocking with. Let's get it. On the mission hustling, trying to get So I'm hustling for mine. So when you're connecting these wires up to the outlet, make sure the black wire goes on the bronze screw and the white wire goes on the stainless steel screw. So the black wire on the dark screw, the white wire on the light screw. You don't want to get those mixed up. Feel free after you connect your wire to go ahead and plug in an electrical tester and that tester will tell you if you got the wires crossed, if it's missing the ground or 
any in between but you want to make sure your plugs is connected right if you don't know how to do this step just go ahead and hire an electrician it's better to just have it done right and then to be guessing it's not that hard of a job but if you don't feel comfortable just go ahead and hire it out and have somebody else do it but i just gotta stick to the flow and get my own every since a young and me and baby on our own turn 19 we was in our own that's home learn from the best Ooh. Just turned this power on and what happened was this wire, that red wire right there, but that's bare, it got cut or shaved back somehow. What I'm doing is about to wrap some electrical tape around it and make sure that's good. Definitely gotta make sure you watch them, man, when you're putting these connectors in here. You gotta watch these sharp ends, make sure it go in there fine. I wouldn't even recommend um, these connectors right here. If we got a little face on there, if you're using three, well, technically it's four wires total, but if you're using three hot wires, I recommend not going with this one right here. Got on the mission, hustling, trying to get it. So I'm hustling for mine, yeah. So watch me go and get it. My daughter needs to wish it. For a new family business. So I'm hustling for mine, yeah. So watch me go and get it. So we finished up them wires and then we went ahead to go pick up a used hair sink. She got it from another hairstylist that was closing up a shop. We gonna run on some plumbing, gonna tap into this here. See, we got a wire right here. So we gonna put that in and pretty much it's gonna look something like this. And then the sink is gonna hook up to there and then we gonna P-trap and all that good stuff to the sink. So the first thing we did when it came to the plumbing was actually the supply lines. Went ahead and cut these PVC wires that was in and then connected up some, some PEX holes. Had a few connectors. Pretty much just used the shark bite and then used some PEX crimp fittings. Went ahead, ran those down, connected up those shutoff valves, ran it down to that sink. I was showing them how to do that PEX also, but wanted to go ahead and crimp them because if you mess up on the crimp, you got to cut it over and do it again. And we didn't have that much PEX line or crimp fittings. And we didn't want to keep running back to Home Depot because we definitely did that a bunch of times, especially when it came to hooking up this hair sink because the drain was a little issue. But I own the mission, hustling, trying to get it. So I'm hustling for mine, yeah. So watch me go and get it. My daughter needs to wish it for a new family business. So I'm hustling for mine, yeah. So watch me go and get it. These people won't get it. No. Making design a rich. So now I was on to hooking up this drain for this hair sink. This gave us a bunch of issues because the sink drain that was in there already that we tried to use, it leaked, it didn't work. So we went to Home Depot, bought another one. That one leaked, didn't work. Then we tried to use the one from the other sink that she bought. And I went to a plumbing store to buy a gasket. Guess what? It didn't work. So I ended up finding one at Home Depot and then it worked out fine. Now we hooking up these mirrors. So she came up with a design and she wanted to have a mirror wall. She found these mirrors at Target. Real had to travel across the world to go get them. But the design came out really good. Her next design is to put grass behind the walls. Now doing the final touches on this sink. They also went ahead and painted these walls white and they also painted the ceiling black. That's like the best combination when it comes to these basements. White walls, black ceilings. Baby, that's my type of way. Going after goals, I ain't got no time to waste. Sit you getting sticky, but I still keep the pace. And here's the finished product, looking really good. Can't fuck up my motion. Cruise, now we coasting. Make my own wave like a boat that's in the ocean. Get to by the tide, but you gotta stay focused. Losing the track of time, I'll leave your ass wide open. 